The truth is, whether you choose it or not, a loss is a loss. You go around and around and around. It's the existential carousel. And around and around and around and around. It becomes a blur. And then one day you recognize you need to get off. If only to save your own life. It's a circle. Like every story, there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. I really didn't know how to feel. Happy to be free? Sad, the death of a dream? Or somewhere stuck in the middle where thousands of unclosed circles haunted my mind. Amidst the mess of disagreements, hollow communication, and displaced pain, questioning if it ever was true love. The present replaced and overtaken by the flood of memories rushing in. A cloudy past of broken promises, arguments, facades, and questionable exchanges, sizzling like a cigarette hole in mi corazón. But wounds can heal. Scar tissue develops, and the whole becomes a hardened lesson of the past. One that I've made peace with, never to forget, but to leave behind. How should one feel on the day of an ex anniversary? I went in with the, the should of being sad, angry, or emotional in some grandiose, teary way. But that's the thing about shoulds. They're not always right. Did my pain have to be so dark como una tormenta? Should I break down in heartbreak when I'm seated for every meal and ask the phrase every recently scarred single dreads? Solo persona. To walk a path alone is a courageous endeavor. To leave una tormenta of a relationship even braver. For it takes a coward to make the circumstances so abusive, but will pretend externally all is okay to later be deemed and left for the victim. But a warrior to do the work, recognize the toxicity and break free. A ring that once was a symbol of connection and love that later became one of entrapment, pain and terror. Water is a cleanser, a healer, a powerful force that can destroy and nourish at the same time. It's transformative. It won't stop for anything and choose to go above, around, and beyond anything standing in its way. Seeing the ring, twirling it playfully, painfully, and my hands over the waves until the moment I let go. I paused until the wave came crashing to destroy, destruct, liquefy, and purify. Purifying not just the ring, the blessings, the vows, or the bonds. Purifying my heart, my soul, those which are the real jewels of life, safety, sustenance, trust, and love. The ring vanished. Panic ensued, and in that moment, my heart skipped a beat. No longer symbolizing heartbreak, but a reset. There's a mischievous, playful humor in the way the universe teaches us our life lessons. The dharmas to fulfill, circles to close, paths to pursue. Each new beginning slightly more enlightened, a bit wiser, a bit sharper, a bit more free. The universe told me the ring, my heart, and my soul were cleansed, that I was ready to press onward embodying the lessons life had offered in the past few years to find my greatest love of a lifetime me because sola persona is the greatest love of my lifetime she's my true best friend a killer dinner companion a creative and charming character a professional weirdo a witty punky preppy fresita a sage soul and a rising phoenix through any storm one that i would righteously marry over and over again because once you fall in love with yourself the world is endless for todas y solas personas Sola persona, let freedom.